everybody, Larry McCurran for Packers.com, and we are joined by Packers GM Brian Gutekunst. Brian, day two of the draft is in the books. How do you feel about it? Good. No, I think uh, really excited to add a couple of versatile offensive pieces. You know, um, you know, in the second round, AJ Dillon from Boston College happened to fall to us. A big bag for a lot of speed. Um, I think he's going to really fit Matt's offense and what he wants to do. Um, yeah, he had a ton of production, was very durable during his time in uh, Boston College. And he was a little underutilized in the passing game, but that was one of the things through the combine and through the process that we feel that uh, is a big upside in. So we're excited to get him. And then in the third round to come back and get Josiah DeGuara, that's a guy that we kind of, we were down at the Senior Bowl, really thought would have a chance to fit what Matt wants to do with one of those kind of H-back tight ends. And, uh, uh, there's a lot of really good things in the move. I think it'll be a matchup problem uh, for us. Brian, going back to AJ for a moment. The guy is six feet, 247, ran a 4.53. I mean, I'd pay money to see that. Ran a 4.53. And you know, we talked to him earlier. I was thinking he's going to be looking like a bowling ball or something. He's a very athletic looking guy, isn't he? It really is. And um, again, in that Boston College offense, in which he was so productive in, uh, he was a downhill, you know, really you know, pounded out runner who had the kind of the, the excellent speed to, to, to run away from people. Um, I think the more as we got into the study of him, we really realized there was so much more to him than that. And that's what really got us excited about his fit with us. He really does bring a different dimension to your running back room, does he not? He does. Just with his size and his power, that's something that uh, right now, you know, I don't know if we have have that. Um, but I think you'll be I think you'll be a good fit within the group with Aaron and Jamal uh, and some of the other guys. I just think he, um, he he's versatile enough to do all the things we ask him to do. And then he kind of has that rare quality of his, of his speed and power. When it comes to Josiah, is he more receiver, more blocker, a true combination? Where does he fit in far as roles go? Yeah, probably a little more receiver than, than, than anything, but he, he is versatile enough to do everything. I think a lot of his blocking may be on the move from the H-back or the fullback position. Um, he does have the ability to put his hand in the dirt and play that way as well, but uh, doesn't have the size maybe some of those other guys do. Um, but we do really think, you know, his ability in the passing game to create mismatches and get open and, and make plays is, is something we're excited about. Brian, three offensive players so far. Was that by design? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Obviously, it was a little bit of an emphasis for us, but I think that uh, this particular draft was a little bit heavy on the offensive side of the, of the ball. And, um, you know, we have obviously six picks tomorrow to kind of address different things as well. Um, but uh, we, we certainly wanted to kind of put some some uh, assets into the, the offense and we were able to do that over the first two days. How good is the talent level in the day three guys that you may be picking tomorrow? Sure. There's always there's always players, uh, you know, on day three and even on the undrafted free agents as well. Um, you know, Ted, Ted Thompson was always fond of saying there's always a good player every time you pick. It's just it's our job to find them. So um, we feel good about our board and the work that we've done to prepare for it. So uh, it'll be an interesting day tomorrow. We've got a little bit of a wait without the fourth round pick that we gave up on uh, Thursday. Um, but we'll kind of see how everything falls and do what we can do. Brian, good luck and thanks for joining us. Thanks, Larry. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.